WSTEM project in Uninorte. This year has been a year of challenges and learning how to reinvent ourselves and our strategies in order to organize activities with great quality that encourage girls to study STEM careers. The practices in our institution can be classified in three main axes, attraction campaigns, dissemination, and politics and strategies for sustainability. Let's start with the attraction campaigns. First, Uninote was in charge of the reference documents, which we designed as a checklist, so it would be easy for all the partners to follow and adapt to their campaigns. One of the challenges for the activities was to reach the girls and motivate them to participate due to the lack of personal contact. According to the current situation, it was impossible to go to the schools and meet the girls personally. So one of the most efficient ways to contact the students were the teachers. A strong communication with the principals and teachers allowed the active participation of the girls in the activities. This was the case with two schools who had active attendance in our campaigns. Another alternative to invite the girls was through email. However, this showed less efficiency since the number of students invited was considerably high and the attendance of those invited was poor. In order to collect data, the people signed up for the activities had to fill an inscription questionnaire that included questions with personal information, school information and interest in the STEM field. It was a good practice that was developed in the, since the beginning of the attraction campaigns that allow us to analyze the statistics of attendance. Nevertheless, after taking in consideration the different points of view from the special guests invited to the Cátedra Europa activity, an important event in Uninorte with international participation in conferences, webinars, and panels, we realized that we needed a way to make sure the activities were working, so a feedback questionnaire was designed to know the satisfaction with the activities and how we changed the perspective of the students. Summarizing the good practices regarding the attraction campaigns are good communication with the teachers and principals of the school and the collection of data with registration and feedback questionnaires. Now, for the dissemination, uh, the dissemination activities were developed for a wide public, from students and teachers to researchers and experts in the field. A good practice ident identified is the presence of a special guests in the activities. Those with knowledge in the matter were able to present different points of view on how to address the issue, which led to a better understanding of the problem and the development of practices such as the collection of data. One of the most important activities was the Cátedra Europa, as mentioned before. In this event, different academics, professionals and experts shared the barriers and possible solutions they identified in fields like higher education, industries, and technology. Last, politics and strategies for sustainability. In order to guarantee the sustainability of the project in Uninorte, different offices were involved in the realization of the activities, so it was a co-joint effort and a way to create practices that last in the university. The alumni office was contacted in order to find women who graduated in STEM fields that were interested in the project and participating in the activities to present their experience with the girls and their work as engineers. The admission office was contacted in order to send a joint database with the information of senior students who show interest in studying in Uninorte, so we could send them invitations to the activities. Besides, they provide a Zoom account set only for the WSTEM project and develop the questionnaire with our team. The University Welfare Office that is focused on the integral development of students and support of sports, arts, and student groups was contacted in order to start the WSTEM UniNorte student group, in which we enroll university students to participate in the activities and generate ideas for the spread of information so the WSTEM women in Uninorte feel supported and motivated. One of the ideas for sustainability in the future is to take this group to the next step and transform it into an international group with an established structure and contact with different countries. Last but not least, 
The Corporate Relations and Alliance Office was contacted in order to create a W10 scholarship in Une Norte. This was a key contact since they allow the visibility of the project within the institution. We identified this as a good practice for sustainability since the scholarship can last even when the project is finished. They also stated that in the future it could be open to international funding projects. Improving those good practices is still a work in progress and we will continue with the development next year.